Yesterday when I pulled that back, it was in full sunlight, and I think the uh, shipping container had expanded enough that my those are, dimensions are super tight. I did that quite deliberately because that door will be closing against this. So I wanted it to be super tight. I don't think it's the paint that's holding it. I, I think that it's the shipping container itself. So I may not be able to do what I want to do. <laughs> Let's just move that door. <clears throat> I'm going to get a block of wood and a small sledge. Maybe my rubber mallet and give it a whirl with that. All right, Internet, cover your ears. I'm going to see if I can move that at all with a little hammer. Yes, I can. So I'm going to go back and forth until I drive this into position. To where I want it. And then I'll close the doors and make sure it all fits. It's so funny, yesterday in the heat, that I was able to just pick this up and move it because there was a little gap. And today, now, oh man, not a, even a little. I had to drive it every inch. All right, let him dig in there. All right, so now I drove it to where I like it. And then I'll level it eventually. What I need to do before I get too far carried away is close the door on both sides and latch it and make sure that I have clearance. So I'm going to leave you run while I do that. Well, internet, there's a couple of spots where I see I need to touch up. I'm going to go ahead and get those done. I'm going to drive down the boards here and put it down on the floor to make contact. Well, maybe not. But at least I'm going to do the top up there where I missed. Hey lovely, hand me the camera through the opening so people aren't bored. They can see what I'm doing. You can just leave it run while you hand it to me. It'll be alright. Oh, we do need to get all my cameras over to the repair shop because there's no way that I can do this. I've got this house is almost done, but I got the roof so, to do. I've got stuff that's definitely going to break. They have to have a repair shop in Bastrop. No, a camera repair, there is no way. Plus, I don't have them all rounded up. So anyway, let me zoom up there so you can see what I'm doing. Well, I think um, Georgetown may have one. Well, let me do some research. All right, let's, let's go all the way up. So y'all see that right there? See that gap? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the uh, top away like that so I can uh, paint and then I'll push it back makes a huge difference though you really can't even see the gap black is the right answer for that I guess if you're gonna timber frame and you're not gonna be real exact inside your shipping container this idea of mine of using black to hide the mistakes Good idea. See how that just made that disappear? Really did. Can't even really see there's a gap there anymore, right? Yeah, of course. That was my plan. This, uh, I really like this paint for uh, 
treating the metal here on this shipping container. I, I don't think I'll use anything but this. I like it. Yeah, me too. Thank you for the trash can so close. I don't have to put my... Yeah, uh, you know, I've told you a house is super convenient. <laughs> no, but this is super convenient right here. Everything I need is right here. Yeah, right there. This one's really fighting me, Leah. You sure about the just pulling it thing? I don't know about the just pulling it Oh, it's thing. weird because I even saved the piece I got because it was a nice piece of string. Oh, yeah. To prove your innocence? Yeah. You're a smart girl. I did. I saved it. Well, Leah, Leah removed one of those yesterday, and today I tried to tell her she didn't. Gaslighted her. Gaslighted her. It seems to be the way of the world now. I said, Leah, you didn't get the string. She saved her string simply because she knows me and proved that I was full of crap. Can't gaslight somebody who won't let you. Steve, it's destiny. All right, well, I answer So all of that hollering was or taking my grandson to gymnastics. And uh, Leah and I are, I'm Grandpa Stash, and she's Grandma Leela. Her name's Leah, but Stash is, my dad was called Stash. She's the girl with the camera. She's my Vanna White. But anyway, the um, <clears throat> we're looking forward to that. But I won't get very much done on here before I have to wash my hands and head out and be a little more civil. So... For y'all, I'm not civil at all. I don't know. Yeah, your company. Y'all are just you just my friends now on the internet. But uh, nonetheless, going out in public looking uh, all broken down and you know dirty. I don't want that for my grandson. That's my grandpa, the dirty one over there. And then point, and everybody will go, "Oh, P U." You know, how kids are heartless. Lord knows I can't tolerate being picked on by four-year-olds. All right, I like that. Let me straighten that up. <clears throat> Erased yet another thing. I'll zoom up there even so you can appreciate my craftsmanship. And then I'll find my aircraft drills. Maybe I'll put one, one drill in there. I'm not sure yet. All right, there we go. Ooh, let's go out. All right, so I will have to make sure it's straight up and down. And I know that it's not right tilted because the shipping container gives me the square, but I'll need to make sure it's, because it's for a door. And if you're off a little bit, your door will, will slow open, slow close, won't fit. There'll be gaps at the bottom, gaps at the top. And I'm going right to the post, so there's not like furring strips that I can, or wedges I can adjust and, you know, take that out. And I'll have to bend the hinges <laughs> to match. And I will anyway, a little. But, uh, all right, let me close these doors and see how good this fit is. And uh, <clears throat> see if I can start mounting things. Still finding little. Well, I don't mind a primitive paint job. <clears throat> I want to make sure everything's covered. And every time I move something, I find a little spot where we overlook. All right, internet. There's a little blue. There we go. A little touchy up. That's all I'm going to do. Look, when I turn the. Uh, you probably can't. I can see. There's little. Little spots that might well, as well paint them. Doesn't have to even be perfect, it will add to the charm. All right, let's close this door. Lock it up. And then I'll go inside, see how the timbers fit. Well, I could touch up for a hundred years right there, so, but I'm gonna call that good enough. And, uh, let me go inside and see how it fits. I've got the door completely closed. The uh, latch is all the way drawn and latched. Oh, let me do this one. Forgot the latch in. There we go. There we go. 
All right. So now I can drive that uh, door post, not where it touches, because you saw that the heat makes a change, but within a, it's an eighth inch, let's say. I'll give it an eighth inch of play. All right, let me go inside. All right. Well, here's the door, looking good, all latched up. And what I'm looking is to see how far that log is. So that one's right up against it. We I'll call that successful. This one could be moved a little bit in. And you can even see if I look at this and measure it, you can see that the four by four is running at a taper. Let me look at this one. Oh, this one's straight up and down. All right, so all I gotta do is fix that. Let me go ahead and fix that. Just so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm looking at this piece of metal relative to the post. And if I follow it down, you know, that's my eyes saying an eighth inch more. And then if I follow it up, it's even worse. So let me fix that and then I'll call that a day. All right, so got that straightened up. Now, if you look and see the distance from here to there, it's the same more or less all the way down. I'll, I'll straighten it out here and actually put a ruler on it. I don't normally do that, but with doors, I don't want to be out because, uh, as I said, the door will do that on the door jams, and I don't want a bunch of crookedness. All right, I'm back from gymnastics. I got to watch all the little kids do tumbling. That was good. Let's talk about these doors for a minute. All right, now these are the outside doors. So you see, can you get my vision that uh, once I put the wood in the slats, and it will be, of course, all the way. And then this door, see? These will be wooden panels. And I'll even have clavos of some kind or another. I don't know. We talked about stars, but I kind of wanted florals. And so, uh, you know, we'll just drill through here to attach these boards. And then I'll drill out where I need to. Nonetheless, this will be skinned with cedar, which will make this look like a castle door. And the outside will be skinned a little bit here and there, which will make it look like a castle door. All right, next step up. See, this door is to uh, put a uh, drill out with aircraft drill and put a couple of mounting bolts in there. And then on the bottom, I'm going to drill from the underside through the plywood into the post. That's how I'm going to mount those. So, I need to find uh, my aircraft drills, and I went and looked, and found them right where they should be. So I got the aircraft drills there. Let me get a couple of lag bolts, figure out exactly how I'm going to do this. I am excited. This ought to look really, really good. I might drill from the outside into the post, and then you won't even see the... That is exactly how I'll do that. Drill from the outside. All the way around, they'll all be hidden. Let's do that step. First, I'll get a, uh, I'll get a level, and whatever the plumb and level is here, I'll plumb and level that to the same degree, and then I'll know it's plumb and level. All right. Let's see how we're doing today. Well, that's bubble on, so we want this bubble on too. All right. Well, let me. Put a ladder on the outside and drill through, and then I'll bolt it up that way. I'm hoping those make it all the way through. I honestly don't have any more long ones. I guess one long one, but... Yeah, it says it will. It says it will, so... When I hold it up, I'm finding that I'm going about halfway in to the outside. So let's try that. Let's try one of them. There's a fella online that's called Farm Project and he uh, tests all kinds of kits. And Ryobi's always middle of the pack. <laughs> but uh, here I am. Brand new Ryobi drills. I'm gonna, well, I think I'm going to use those. And uh, if they're the right, yeah, I got a couple of the right size. Brand new bits and then I'll drill from the outside. We'll see how that will do. So before I get on a ladder and, uh, you know, commit where this is twice as hard. Come on now. <laughs> there we go. All right. 
Oh, out of battery. I'm gonna change that too. I'm gonna go ahead and drill from the back side. All the fasteners in this door will be hidden. You won't see any of them. I'll drill underneath through the plywood and anchor the post. So let me uh, let me see. Look here. So my eyeball's saying about six inches from this edge to the post. So if I wanted to find the center of the post, we're looking eight inches. Eight inches. So let's do that. Let's do eight inches. So let, and I'm gonna do it on the ground because my legs are tired and it's pretty late in the day. So for orientation, for those who aren't familiar, you saw me carry the camera around. This is the outside. This metal on the other side of that, three inches behind it, is the post. So I'm going to pick a spot arbitrarily between the hinges, let's say, that's got the most metal. I'm going to measure eight inches, six to eight inches. Oh, it might even go to there. Let me look at that seat. Let's say, let's say seven inches. That feels right. So I could be a little off. Let's go seven and a half. That feels like I'll hit a um, thing. Seven and a half. See, these are Ryobi Black Oxide, brand new, versus the pillars on a shipping container. No uh, oil. Well, that's not half bad, is it? I'm getting there. It doesn't look like it's a lot of hard work, but it's a lot of hard work. And I'm at the end of the day of a busy week. I might, I, I, I'm gonna go get a little oil, put a little oil in there. Let's sneak some oil in it. A little three in one oil in there. How about that? I got six of these and this is my first one. I have no, how, no idea how deep the drill. Or if I'm missing. Oh, boys and girls, let's see if I did it. Let's see if I did it. That's wood way back in there. Let's see if I got wood on the end of this drill bit. <gasps> I had wood. Let's put a screw in that. I'm feeling good. So, you know, an inch off of this, the way I did it, <laughs> feeling pretty good. Let's go ahead and put a screw in that. Now, my thought with putting a six inch screw in there right now is to see if I've split the wood one side or another before I drill a bunch of holes and find out that I've, you know, a half inch, moving it a half inch one way or another will, will protect it again. It's blind, right? So I'm doing this to blind. Oh, that felt good. Let's look at it together. That felt good. All right, I don't see it there. I don't see any breakage. I believe I've got a winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, winner, winner, chicken dinner. And doesn't that look nice? 
you would not even know on the other side of that's a big door jam so I am I am really happy with that and I'll drill two more of those out from my ladder just leaning into it like I did and that'll be a, a full night for me so the next one I'll actually have Leah when I drive the screw I'll have Leah checking the bubble while I do it just to make sure and then we'll go from there we put you on stop motion so you don't need to see me draw you know sweating and doing all that I'll put you on stop motion you could just celebrate the the goodness of me being done how about that Normally when I do a stop motion, it's uh, real fluid. Uh, today the horses came up. I did a quick video on uh, Barrow versus Blaze, which is going real well. And uh, it's taken me a while to fiddle faddle with this to make it plumb. So I drilled, a, I drilled a hole and anchored it where I know I want the door so I can close it. And now I'm, I'm truing it up plumb relative to all of that. It's just a lot of fiddly work. So what I want to make sure is when I hang the French doors that they, they hang and they don't slow open or slow close or have a big gap at the top or bottom because this isn't shimmed up like a regular house. This is timber mounted to steel. So, you know, I needed an eighth inch play between each joint so that the doors will close no matter what happens with the temperature differential. But um, anyway, that's what I'm after. And so I'm taking my time. So uh, taking a look at the bubble, it, it's on the bubble, you know. I'm happy. I'm happy. The bubble that's all, a little smidgen here where I could go a little different is the same bubble difference that I see out here. So um, I'm, I'm happy. So I'm super happy. When you do your house, um, hopefully you'll do have the foundation down because uh, by not having my foundation done, it's up on blocks. And that happened because a Home Depot never delivered uh, my, my foundation stuff. So then I had to, I already had a container, I already get, you know, um, but I, for um, six weeks, they promised to deliver foundation material. And finally I went in, I was so angry. I went in and the clerk was typing and because they told me they were loading the order while I was standing there, oh yeah, we're loading it in the back and never showed up. So I drove home to pick it up, never showed up. So finally I spun the, the thing around and they had put notes in there that I had left the country and that I wouldn't be back and I had taken an extended vacation and all the notes in there were absolute lies. And uh, so then I, I just, I quit. <laughs> I only use them when it's after hours on a weekend. I can't use somebody else or my own two hands. And ain't that something? Lowe's is a little better in this area. Lies that I was leaving the country and they cancel the order and tell me to my face that they're loading a truck and no such thing. And then I, you know, it's, it's, it was six, 50, 60 miles for me to come home and wait for the truck that never came. For six weeks, they did that to me but plumb and true on here. So that means when I put the, the door on and I gotta cut the post to match, that the door will be nice. So I, I'm just gonna go ahead and drill a couple more holes. You don't need to watch me do that. Uh, and it's about five, seven minutes per hole and I'm using a little three-in-one oil to get through and I'm hoping when I'm done that that drill bit still, it's just a black oxide drill bit for me, Obi. And I did punch through that. It looks like it's a little more than eighth inch steel uh, on the post here. So let me do that and uh, get it all done and all screwed in, take down these straps and hopefully it won't be dark by then. And there's your hidden fasteners that are tying my doors together. So uh, almost every time I, I work on this house, it's everything's hidden fastener. See, there's no fasteners there. Those will be covered up. 
You'll be hard pressed to find a fastener. Look at this, this entire construction here. Uh, you won't find a fastener exposed on any of these things. And it's because I use the, uh, it's because I use the uh, construction of the shipping container to my advantage. So um, anytime I needed to anchor it to something, right? I just used the shipping container itself. Here's my other door. So this entire door, if you looked it over real close, I mean, you know, other than like, uh, you know, weather stripping, but door itself, I mean, there is no fasteners exposed. I'm not done yet, but um, that's part of the beauty of my design. So I am trying to make this a thousand year house. So I, I mean to people not to take out my hand car post. So they don't get to do the, that. They would have to really work and uh, especially work once I get the earth bag on the outside. This summer, I think I'll end up with a paint coat. Uh, because I want to get the great hall done first and that one uh, before I start the earth bagging. But maybe, I don't know. But anyways, uh, use the shipping container to your advantage. I end up then uh, following all of those hidden fasteners with the caulk. And I caulk around it so that the water can't come in. Uh, this is Steve at Thousand Year Homes. I'm all done with uh, getting that door in and mounted. It looks pretty darn good. So like and subscribe. Bye.